Hi guys, today I would like to share my experience on taking TOEFL IBT for U.S. pharmacy licensure for foreign grad pharmacist. First of all, let me introduce myself first. I'm a foreign grad pharmacist from Thailand, and I'm trying to pursue the same career, which is being a pharmacist here in the U.S. And it's been quite a journey for me because the most struggling for me is the TOEFL exam. English is not my first language, and an ABP requires you to obtain a high score on speaking section, like 26 out of 30, which is considered difficult for, uh, you know, people who don't speak English as the first language. It took me a year and a half to get the passing score on four sections. I'm currently a pharmacy intern and uh, I've been at my fourth month doing an internship and I'm also preparing for Netflix, the North American Pharmacist Licensure Exam. Due to the COVID-19 situation, scheduling an Netflix exam is really difficult. My exams, I mean the earliest that I can schedule my exam is on October. So my Netflix exam will be on October 7th. Now let's go back to TOEFL exam. TOEFL exam is an exam to test the ability of your English as the second language and an ABP requires certain minimum score on each section for you to pass. The most struggling section for me was speaking because I'm from Thailand and we don't really speak English in Thailand and I just moved to the US four years ago. So passing the speaking section was just a challenge for me but I was over it and I'm really glad that I passed it and I got to move on with the process of being a pharmacist here. Basically in this video clip I like to share like how like I did it and what strategies did I use. First of all I had like several tutors and I mean if you guys are interested I mean I can recommend you one. She's really good tutor. She was with me the whole process until I passed my TOEFL exam and what I did in addition to having a tutor was that I practiced my reading aloud every day because I was really struggling in speaking section uh, so you know like my pronunciation is not great or nor was my grammar and my grammar still off like today but I mean I don't really care like about the conversation in daily life. I just care about passing the TOEFL exam so I can move on with the process. And so every day in the morning before I went to work, um, I would find a passage and then I will read aloud and try to pronounce every, every syllable that there and repeat that twice for each passage and by doing that it helps me to build the muscle memory for certain like pronunciation that I was struggling with and it helped a lot I mean everything takes time it took me a while I mean like for me to be able to pronounce like you know in the way that are supposed to or close to the way that is supposed to be and in addition to that I use the practice test from tongue twister it's like it's like to build a certain way that you pronounce a certain word I will put the link down below for that practice I think it's free and then um, I was trying to study the conjunctions like however or like therefore thus like the transitional words and incorporate them into my response sentences.
because I mean that's what my tutor told me to do, and it worked. And when I was practicing giving my responses, I actually、uh, record my respond my responses, and then I type it down what I actually said, and try to correct what I said, and did the word counts like. How many word counts in my response for each questions? And also, I also do the dictation practices.、Uh, like I would listen to a passage, like on listening, and then I will actually write down sentences that I heard in that、uh, audio, and then I will. Run the audio again and check if I miss anything in my writing, and that helps me to learn, like how to form sentences in English. And for my grammar, I actually had a tutor who listened to my responses and she fixed my grammar, that you know, like the ending sound the. Uh, S and non S with the verb, with the sub different subjects, and she 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 had helped me like a lot along the process, and I feel really thankful. Cause I think to fix your grammar, you need like a native English speaker to actually listen to your responses and correct your responses and point out the mistake that you are making, so that you realize the mistake and then you can fix it. Because if you don't know what the mistakes are, right, and then you, I mean, you can't fix what you don't know. And、uh, some of the、uh, questions on TOEFL exam require you to like give like examples from your experience, and、uh, I find that really challenging. As a you know, I don't speak English as my first language. So what I did was、uh, practice brainstorming. Like you know, for the student. A、uh, question. I will brainstorm like what could be the possible like answer, you know, for that particular question, and I do the like, like, sheet sheet, like you know if like, you know like get the certain question, then I would answer in a certain way, like for the independent questions. And then when it comes to the campus situation questions, I use templates provided my tutor, and I incorporate like the transitional phrases into my answers. Like I practice until I don't feel like I'm using the templates at all, because I mean it has to be natural responses, and I mean for you to obtain like twenty six up out of thirty. So I practice using templates until I don't feel like I'm using it. You know what I mean? Like until it become your habit of saying the same thing all over again for the campus situation questions. And I、uh, do the same thing with the、uh, uh, lecture. You know, questions that you listen to lectures and then you. Like comprehend everything and give responses, you know what you understand the lecture, and I also use the template like in term of like you know like the introduction, the transitional phrases, and the summary phrases. I just want to say that I mean like if you are a foreign grad pharmacist and you are actually struggling with the TOEFL exam because. You know they require such a high scores on speaking sections. I assume that I mean most people were struggling at speaking section, and just please don't give up. It took me like almost twenty times taking TOEFL exam to finally obtain passing score. You know it's it was a struggling like process for me, but I'm really glad. I passed it, and I got to move on、uh, within the process of being 
a pharmacist here in the U.S. And I just want to encourage like you guys who have the same problems that I did for TOEFL. Just please don't give up. And if you feel like giving up, just reach out for help. Like tutors, it doesn't have to be like you know, like famous tutors because they are really expensive. Just like find someone to listen to your responses, like a native English speaker, and ask them for help or your friends, or you know, like try those strategies that I have mentioned earlier. I mean, even though I passed the TOEFL exam already, I still feel like the language struggle is still there, especially for my intern. I mean, like, ah, it's just like there's time that I, there's time that I'm not able to say things that I want to say it out loud, and I feel uncomfortably uncomfortable. Whatever, it's just yeah, I don't feel comfortable. I mean, speaking that out, which is really important because you need to be able to communicate effectively in the pharmacy-like setting. I mean, because you're gonna be a pharmacist, right? So I mean, I'm still like, like practice my speaking, including like grammars, speak spoken grammars and writing, you know, like that stuff, like every day. And you know, like they say, practice. Makes perfect, and it's. I mean, I'm I'm not thing near perfect, but I hope I survive. It's just like you just have to keep going. I mean, like I just want to say like to those foreign grad pharmacists who are struggling on TOEFL exam, just please don't give up, okay? Because, I mean, practice makes perfect, and you just have to keep going forward for what you. Want and it will be worth it at the end of this journey. Thank you for watching. Bye.